fantastic news. As of version 0.60 of Home Assistant, which just came out, there is now a seamless, easy way to get Home Assistant and Amazon Echo playing nice together. So if you have an Amazon Echo, it can now discover and interact with all of the devices that you have connected to Home Assistant. And best of all, it is super easy to set up. I'll show you. One of the most popular gifts this year for Christmas was the Amazon Echo. The Echo comes in several flavors. Doop, doop, doop. Prior to this version of Home Assistant, in order to get Home Assistant communicating with Amazon Echo, you had to go through a pretty complicated process. You had to register as a developer, you had to be using SSL encryption, and you had to set up your own developer skill for Alexa. It was something I've had on my list of things to do, but every time I read about it, it looked so complicated, I kept putting it off. But now, they made it super easy, and I'm pretty excited. The way the Home Assistant developers made this work is they set up their own, what they're calling for now, the Home Assistant Cloud. Now when you hear cloud, if you get all worried about security, what the Home Assistant developers are saying is they're not storing anything. All they're doing is using it as a pass-through to get messages from your instance of Home Assistant to Alexa through a Home Assistant skill so that they can communicate for you directly to Alexa. So to get your Home Assistant communicating with Alexa, first thing you have to do is update Home Assistant to 0.60 or newer. The update process is different depending on which way you installed Home Assistant. I use the Haspian installation. So for me, the update process happens at the command line. I SSH into my Home Assistant Pi and I type these four lines. Then a whole bunch of stuff that I can't read flashes by the screen. I exit and then restart Home Assistant. Regardless of which way you installed Home Assistant, all the instructions you need for updating are available on the Home Assistant website. Once you've upgraded your Home Assistant, go into your configuration.yaml file and just add one line that says cloud colon. Save it and restart. After your Home Assistant main page comes back up, go into configuration and you'll see something new that says Home Assistant Cloud. Click that and then go through the process for registering and setting up Home Assistant Cloud. The next thing you have to do is enable the Home Assistant Alexa skill. After you've enabled the skill, you can just click Discover Devices and Alexa through the Home Assistant Cloud will connect with your instance of Home Assistant and discover all your devices. Everything you have connected will be there. If you want to limit or filter the things that Alexa discovers, you can do that in your configuration.yaml file in a couple ways. In your customize section, you can give things different names that are specific only to Alexa. You can hide things, and you can also add descriptions and display categories, but I don't exactly know what those things do. The other way to include or exclude things from Alexa is under the cloud component that you just added. Type Alexa colon, and then you can include or exclude entities or domains by naming them just like this. As of right now, the Home Assistant skill includes these domains, which means these are the things that you can control. I can definitely get switches and lights to turn on and off. So far, I haven't been able to get it to select an effect for my holiday lights, but I did come up with a way to make everything turn on in my office when I get home and to make it all turn off when I go to bed with a simple command. I wanted to call it, I'm home and I'm going to bed. But when you tell Alexa you're home and you're going to bed, she has a pre-programmed response, which is very nice, but it doesn't do the light thing that I wanted. So unfortunately I have to say something like, turn on, I'm home, and turn on, going to bed. You wanna see how I did the automation? Of course you do. There are probably a dozen ways to do this. I'm not sure this is the best way, but this is what I did and it worked. First thing I did was create two input Booleans. If you've never used an input Boolean before, it's kind of like a switch. This will give Alexa something to turn on and turn off that can act as a trigger for the automation. I made one for when I get home to turn on the lights and the fan and the music, and then I made another one for when I'm done for the night, ready to turn everything off and go to bed. Now let's look at the details of the automation. The trigger is when the input Boolean office on goes from off to on. We're not doing anything with conditions, so we can skip that. My first action is to turn on a switch for the office light. This has to be JSON script. One of the easy ways to get the correct JSON script is to open a second window of Home Assistant, go to Services, 
and then select the service that you're going to use, which for this one we just said was switch turn on. Then you can select the switch that you want to turn on. The Home Assistant devs have done a great job of making this as easy as possible. So under entity, it lists all of your switches when you select switch on. So I want to turn on the office light. So here is the JSON text that I need. Now you can just copy and paste. The next action is to turn on the office fan switch. And we're going to turn on one more switch for the crown molding lights that switch office crown. Now we turn on the music. The service is media player select source. The entity is Spotify and the source is dad's office, which is the name of my echo. Now we need another action to tell the media player to play. Because the trigger for this automation is the Boolean going from off to on, I need the Boolean to be off again at the end of the automation. So it'll be ready the next time I want to turn it on. I also want my fun colored flashing LEDs to come on for three minutes when I first get home. So I make an MQTT publish action to turn them on, a delay for three minutes, and then another action to turn them off. Now this is what the going to bed automation looks like. The trigger is the other input Boolean that we made going from off to on. Again, we don't need any conditions. For the actions, we're just going to turn everything off that we turned on. So that means switch office crown, switch office fan, and switch office light. For the media player, we're going to use pause. And finally, we set the input Boolean back to off so that it's ready next time we want to turn it on. And that's it. Now let's see how it works. Computer, turn on off to bed. Computer, turn on I'm home. Okay. <laughs> so this Home Assistant Cloud is free until March. After March, it's going to be part of what they're calling community support package. They haven't decided what all that's going to include just yet, but first on the list is the same kind of integration for the Google Home or Google Assistant. I think what the Home Assistant developers are doing is fantastic. And personally, I definitely get $5 a month worth of enjoyment out of Home Assistant. And I'm thrilled at how easy it is to communicate with Alexa. So I'm happy to pay him. Now the best part of this so far is that my wife is very happy that she can lay in bed and tell Alexa to turn the lights off. Happy wife, happy life. As always, thanks for watching. Hope that was helpful to you. Let me know if you have any questions. Don't forget when you need help, the folks at the Home Assistant forums and on the Home Assistant Discord channel are a great resource. I'm happy to help all I can, but the stuff I know, I learned from those guys. Till next time, adios.